This Monday, only one man has the know-how, the class, the precision to deliver the tech news straight to your listening holes and vision balls. My name is Gerardico Dusseldorf, and this is Nedlink Daily. NVIDIA may be working on a graphics card with two GM200 GPUs inside. The company invited select members of the press <coughs> to go to a secret briefing in New York last week to apparently get a preview of the card, although they were also there to look at full GTX 980s and notebooks as we saw last week. NVIDIA's flagship GM200 chip is what powers the Titan X and the 980 Ti, and that's about all we know about the new card specs, although WCCF Tech helpfully notes that it has a pretty high core clock and many GBs of RAM. What? That's a lot. Storage technology may be about to get a whole lot faster. A team of German and British researchers have developed the first optical storage chip that is non-volatile, as in it can permanently store data. While flash-based chips are speed limited by the heat and resistance generated by colliding electrons, light-based circuits wouldn't have that problem. The prototype memory chip can also store bits of data in multiple states, not just binary ones and zeros, leading to greater storage density. Looks like there's a new fast storage kit in town. SSDs. You better watch your back, man. Quark boots! Speaking of fast storage, the iPhone 6S apparently has an NVMe drive for storage. A non-text review showed the 6S Plus destroying its competition in a number of read and write tests. This is hard for me to say, but good job, Apple. Samsung would also have a hard time saying that. That company is launching Samsung Pay in the US today, and to celebrate, they're giving out a free wireless charger or flip case if you activate your phone by October 11th. Details are in the news sources below. Another US launch story, LG is launching the Gram, its first laptop in the US. They've already released PCs in other parts of the world. They're available with i5 and i7 processors and IPS screens with an impressively thin side bezel. GoPro unveiled their new Hero Plus camera, which adds 60 FPS capability at 1080p and 720p. 20p, as well as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to the entry-level hero, which isn't feeling like that much of a hero anymore. Ubisoft has extended the Rainbow Six Siege beta to this Thursday, October 1st, since many people haven't even gotten the chance to play yet thanks to high server traffic and a janky code redemption system. And you can stop the Russians, or the Chinese, or the government, take your pick, from spying on you with the Black Phone 2. The super secure smartphone was just launched by Silent Circle, although apparently the specs are so last year. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Quack bats! Oh, what? No, you can't have any more of those. We just did those, Spike. Come on. Linda, Linda, Linda. Ooh, I could say that name unceasingly for the rest of my days because of the many, many wondrous things she has taught me. She has over 3,800 courses and over 100,000 video tutorials on a boatload of topics and professional software. But what specifically, Keys? Well, video editing, photography, design, programming, business, game design, and that's just scratching the surface. Her courses are all taught by experts and there's new ones added every week. She's a tenacious little monkey. Luckily, Linda doesn't play favorites. You can sign up for a 10-day free trial by going to lynda.com slash ncix. Go. She has so much to teach you. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, only one man has yet to eat his lunch. That's me. Is it leftovers? Yes, it is. Well, see ya.